Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you what I do when I get my 1.3 GHz FPV transmitters. This is the ready-made RC 1.3 GHz 1500 milliwatt transmitter. It only transmits on 1280 and 1258 and that suits me fine because they're the legal channels that I can transmit on with my Australian amateur license. This comes in this case which is quite heavy. The actual unit inside is very light. You can t remove this case which we're going to do in this video uh, and you can use the transmitter without the case. However I'm a little bit concerned that uh, the transmitter may heat up too much. I've had a transmitter get too hot on the ground once and it just shut off. It didn't blow up but it just shut off and I had a, uh, a black screen. Uh, when it cooled down the picture came back so I'm desperate to uh, make sure I keep them cool but not pay the penalty of this heavy case. So what I'm going to do is turn this into, into this. Remove the outer case and also add some heat sinks to keep it cool. To do this we've first got to remove the case. The case is held in by four screws on the bottom and four screws on the top. So I'm going to uh, remove these screws and then remove the case. Okay, now that we've removed the screws, we can simply take off this top section. We can, I've already taken off the bottom section, and we can then just slide the unit out. Now this is a little bit different than the earlier ones I've had. The case was a lot thinner and it had um, some uh, bits of metal in there that were being held in with a sort of a spring but this this is different so we'll just uh, push the other way so it's certainly different than the other unit so because of that wire there it can only come out one way so we'll just give it a bit of a push and there we are there is the 1.3 gigahertz 1500 milliwatt transmitter without the case and that case is quite heavy quite heavy so what do we do now well you could run this on your aircraft um, but uh, but I <laughs> I'm just too scared to do that especially here in Australia where it does get very very hot um, and uh, yeah <laughs> apart from me melting these transmitters almost melt so what what I've done I've gone down to the electronic shop and bought some heat sinks so here they are and these are the heat sinks now there's a couple of different ones here these are the ones I prefer I'll just zoom in on this and you can see uh, that they're quite simple they don't have any adhesive on the back and as you notice they do fit on the transmitter quite well there is another type that I purchased and you can see it's got adhesive on the back that is a much smaller unit and I just didn't feel that they would be appropriate for this transmitter uh, but they will cool there's no doubt about that so I'm not recommending either I just prefer the uh, the uh, these ones so what we've got to do is place one there one there and if you really want to go overboard you can place another one here 
Um, in this case, I think I'll just place the two around about here and that will do it. Now, here's the most important thing. If you just go to glue these on with um, epoxy uh, or some other type of glue, it will not carry the heat. The idea is, is for the heat to travel through the case into these heat sinks and then be dissipated in the airflow. Now, to do that, you need a glue or a cement that is actually going to conduct the heat. And most glues don't conduct heat. So, I went to the electronic shop and I bought this. Now, for those in Australia, this is the purchase from JCAR. But I imagine any electronic store in any country will, um, will carry this equipment. And this is simply to, to glue heat sinks uh, to electronic components um, that do carry the heat through them. So I have this unit from JCAR and it's simply a very small, not cheap, packet of cement that actually carries heat. So I'll be applying it to the back of this. I'll be roughing that up with a little bit of, um, uh, keying it up with a bit of sandpaper and also applying a little bit of sandpaper here. Then I'll be applying the cement and placing it on the transmitter. Okay, so firstly we'll grab some sandpaper and we'll grab one of these. Simply rough it up. That should be fine. Grab another one. That should be fine. So we have now two, two units that have been keyed and now we'll just key the part where we're going to stick it on the transmitter. That should, uh, that should do. So now I'm going to apply this heat transferring cement and the amount, this is quite, quite thick. It's, um, it's not runny in any way, shape or form. And when you push down on it, it will possibly squeeze out on the edges and I just clean them up with a toothpick or so. So there's, there's the first one. Which way the, the fins go, I, I prefer them this way, but it really doesn't, doesn't matter at all. So we'll place that there. And then we'll simply do this to the other one. This glue is getting a bit old, might have to buy some more, but still got plenty in here. That'll do. Down. push down on it, line it up, okay, and that job is done. The, uh, the only other thing I do with these transmitters is down here where these wires attach, they can easily come apart, so I I tend to put a little bit of epoxy in here. I will pull the, the cable out before I do that just so I don't actually stick the whole unit to the, uh, to the case. But yeah, I, I usually put a bit of uh, epoxy in there to make sure because these, they get a lot of movement here and I've actually had one, I'll put the video clip in where in an earlier video where I'm talking, one of the, uh, well, the earth wire just pops out and it can happen. And you certainly don't want that happening in flight. So that's, look, that's the end of this video. It's very simple. Um, but a lot of people have asked me <laughs> what I do. Um, a lot of people bury these in their wings. I don't. I always have mine modular. I just put uh, Velcro on the back of mine and I Velcro it to the plane. Uh, the reason being that I can change it to a 400 milliwatt, a, an 800 milliwatt unit or whatever. I can borrow someone else's, I can lend it to someone. So that's how I tend to, tend to do it. 
uh, and I don't like, uh, if these things can get hot, I don't like them being close to a uh, foam where they can get hot. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, I, uh, I know I haven't been posting many flight videos, but I have been flying. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to put some, uh, some up soon.